right, it's Lee McDonald, aka Zamo from Grange Hill here, and you're watching South Coast Detecting with Aaron. And remember, just say no to wrinkles and two peas. See ya. And I'm out this time, I'm in the park, so I'm not at the beach. It is 5.30 a.m. again. And obviously uh, people are going to say, well, Aaron, why are you out in the parks so early? Well, it's obvious. Oh, yeah. Well, because there's going to be a lot of teenagers in here soon. They've all finished their exams. So they're going to be here playing football. And uh, been generally boisterous and noisy. And if I were to have some peace and quiet and try and dig some holes, I can't do it if it's full of teenagers. So I'm here early, because they're all going to be in bed. Out again with the uh, macro cruiser. Settings will be on the screen. If you want to see what settings I'm using here in the parks. Now, I'm sending out my first few water bottles this week. Uh, for people who commented last week and if you'd like to get your hands on one of these water bottles exclusive south coast detecting water bottles spray bottles for squirting on your finds then all you got to do is leave a comment down below doesn't matter what you comment just leave a comment i just thought it was nice for those of you that do comment on the videos it'd just be nice if you won a little something just as a thank you so leave a comment down below i will randomly pick a winner or two and then I will send you out a bottle. It's as simple as that. Just comment down below. Right, let's get cracking. I shall see you at the first hole. Let's dig. High numbers. Plenty of depth. Give it a dick. It's still in the hole. Let's have a look. Ground is so dry. Right, I can see there's marks. We've got a coin. It's George V. You can just see that if we can focus on that. George fifth. It's a half penny, but yeah, that is not in a good condition. Very worn. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get a date off of that. Who was having a look? Yep, 1916. Lovely stuff. Numbers are iffy. Showing a bit of depth. Bye. 
I'm not getting any iron grunt behind it. And it seems like a small target. So it is. Just tat on that occasion. Just tat. like it might have just been that whatever that is it's broken off or something whatever it is I don't know I'll scan the old I'll see if there's anything else in there here we go old coin territory so we can get out of this. Not sure we're going to get much, to be honest. It's pretty worn. Right, focus. There we go. Just see a head facing. Which way is this? That way. There you go. Facing towards my thumb. That's an Edward. That's an Edward the Seventh. There he is, yeah. Edward Seventh. No idea what sort of year that is going to be. It's going to be an early one, isn't it? Early 1900s. Oh, look. This is South Coast Detecting Spray. Squirty bottle. If you want to get your hands on one of these, like I say, just leave a comment down below. There you go. That's come up a treat. Look at that. Edward Seventh. Turn you on the back. Is that 1908? At the bottom there. Just see an 08. Yeah. 1908. Edward Seventh. You beauty. <laughs>
we finally have got something. Digging away. <laughs> Just there. a little bit I'll come back to you right got it we'll set down there it's <clears throat> the length of the blade so deep it was it finally popped out and there it is see if we can get it in the sun it's a Victoria See it. See if we can wet it a little. There she is. Eighteen seventy. Look at that. Fantastic. <laughs> I'm getting bitten to death here by uh, midges. They are everywhere. Every time I bend down, I've got midges in my face. So it could be worse. Could be horse flies, couldn't it? There we go, 1870. Young Victoria Bunhead. That is magic. And that was pretty deep. Pretty deep down there. Let's carry on. Let's dig it. Oh, part of a plug that. Part of a plug. One of the pins. As you can see. Right, carry on. But I've got to carry on cautiously because as I bent down there, I appear to have ripped my trousers. It's not the first time I've ripped my trousers whilst I've been out detecting. I'm pretty sure it won't be the last. Hmm. Yeah. Let this one up. A little half penny. Tiny little thing from the 70s. Next one. Got another little half penny. Another one. It's surprising how good these little pennies come up at a depth of six, seven inches for the size of it. So those of you, if you've got a macro cruiser and you use it in three tone a lot of the time, I actively encourage you to use it in four tone. Because four tone, it, it, just, it just gets so much deeper. It really does, and it really does bring out that signal. So if you are a three tone user on the macro cruiser, that rhymes, try it in four tone. Give it a go. Right next one out of the hole, you can just see it there. Just sitting there. <laughs> Big penny. Let's look at the date on that. Okay, nineteen eleven. So it's got to be George, isn't it? Yes. Here he is, old George. Remember, if you want to get your hands on one of these squirty bottles for free, shipped anywhere in the world, just leave a comment down below. Doesn't matter what you leave, doesn't matter what you say. Just want to, you know, 
give a little something to those that do comment. Because I know there's a lot of you that do comment on a regular basis. Watch the videos. And there's a little thank you. I'll ship you one of those out and a few stickers. But remember, not everybody gets one. It will be picked randomly. And then I'll contact you, get your details. Or contact you and let you know how you can get in touch with me. And we'll ship them out. 1911. George Fitz doesn't look very good, does he? Bless him. But yeah, another old coin for the pot. Crack him. There it is. The next one out. Let's have a look what we got. Now this was ringing in. 80. 78, 79, 80. I was a bit reluctant whether or not to dig it. Because around about 80, 83, these are two peas. So I thought, do I dig it, do I not? Mm. I'm glad I did. Because that, just give it a little rub on my towel. Here's another pre decimal ship half penny. 1944 George takes lovely stuff from just down there so that's not you know four or five inches not deep at all but then again I've had two peas from that sort of depth it's just surprising you know amazing how they settle at a certain depth now Dino Schilling, Schilling King Put out a video um, where he had one of those <gasps> moments you know you thought to yourself oh has he got a nice bit of silver you just see the edge of a coin and I've got that moment right there look you think oh is it silver it's shiny it's at the edge of a coin no it isn't it's the edge of a broken key <laughs> oh dear Bouncing around the 50s, dropping down the 40s. It's a broken key. Next one out. Tell you what, even though we've had a couple of days worth of rain, it's still quite dry at the bottom of all this. The surface is quite soggy, but look at that, once you go about an inch down, it still dries a bloody bone. Anyway, enough moaning. Look, there is a coin in the hole. Let's take a look. It's an Edward. It's an Edward the Seventh. That mark on his face doesn't look recent, so that wasn't me that did that. What's that at the bottom there? It's a 1905, did you see? Beautiful. Yeah. Edward the Seventh, 1905. Very nice. I do like to find Edwards. Prefer Victorias, but yeah, that's nice. I like that. Look at that. Looks like he's been in a gang fight. Hey, it's got shivved. And these things, these bloody things. Get out of it. Beautiful. Right, guys. Welcome to the roundup. That is me done and dusted for the day. Uh, it turned into a bit of a coin shooting day. I mean, I did get random bits of lead and um, nonsense, you know. But, uh, yeah, turned into a coin shooter of a day. So here we go. What do we get? We got Victoria, George V, Edward VII, George VI, 2P, hey, lots of modern pennies and some half pennies from the 70s. So not a bad hunt all round, to be honest with you. Quite pleased with all that. Uh, don't forget, if you're heading out, good luck, happy hunting, wear your gloves, you never know what's in those holes. I know you didn't see mine on screen, but I do have them, I do wear them when I'm delving in, if I don't know what's in there. Also, if you want a water bottle, make sure you uh, just leave a comment, and I should pick somebody randomly. 
and I'll get in touch with you. You can have yourself a water bottle. Yeah, like and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next. Ta-da.